separates things out. It, it seems like, you know, Mary Berkeley, somehow he got that little piece of farmland in Westmoreland as a result of Mary Berkeley marrying him. But um, if Charles Morton wasn't a man of any wealth, just brain power, then, you know, the question is, why would she marry him without him? Why would her father agree to marry, to allow the marriage um, without some kind of dowry? And, you know, I, there'll be more details about that. Let's just get back to Mary Berkeley's descendants, I suppose. I've already diverged here a lot, but... <clears throat> So anyway, I do have one birth record for Elizabeth Morton, and then there's listed here as Lionel Morton, um, said to have died in 1750, born around 1746, and this Lionel, I was told by Jill Gray, and I, I at least trust her accuracy, although, you know, the, she's, she didn't send a supporting document with her, but I know she's done a very good amount of research. And so when it comes to just raw facts, um, Jill Gray has done a very yeah, I'm very excited for the people who are going to uh, anybody interested in Salva Morton's life I think she's going to have a real good book and so I'm going to endorse it left and right up and down all over the place um, okay so let's just go into what happened to Elizabeth Morton here to get to these descendants <clears throat> okay Elizabeth Morton married James Danzy now the odd part about this is is either I don't know either I had not yet been able to um, find out exactly where they were married, and it could be, I may have gotten this marriage date out of an entry in the peerage, where it said they were married on such as a date, but not where, and then um, that's, <laughs> that's it, so <clears throat> it could be, I don't think I have a parish record for, for that. If I do, I've so far failed in actually changing it from England to whatever it actually was. Now, it could have very well been in All Hollows Lombard Street, or in Liverpool, um, where they were said to live. Um, I think maybe Mary Danzy's 1841 census might have pointed her back to being born in Liverpool. I'm not quite sure where I got that. But nonetheless, um... So they may have been married in Liverpool. James Danzy may have been from Liverpool. I don't know enough about the, the, the history of the Danzy family. I do know that James Danzy uh, also had a father named James Danzy, and he was a medical doctor, I believe. Um, <coughs> and I actually do have a death date, uh, 7th March, 1744-45, at Hall, All Hollows, Lombard Street. And let's see what I've got in the notes, I think. Um, this okay. This is from now. A lot of these birth and death records that I have for this set of people comes from London Red Divinium, or Red Divivium, an ancient history and modern description of London. And in it, there's a monument on the north wall. Uh, it says, in memory of Miss Elizabeth Danzy, who departed, departed this life, much lamented on 8th of December, 1778, age 33. So that would make her born in 1745, which matches the IGI record, by the way. Uh, she was the wife of James Danzy, and that matches the um, Charles Morton's will of Conduit Street, Esquire, and daughter of Charles Morton of the British Museum, all that. That matches up, no, doesn't it? Esquire. Flora, the daughter of James and Elizabeth Danzy, died 1778, aged two years and four months. Names on the pavement, James Danzy, 1744, and then there's some records from the burial, March 7th, 1744, James Danzy, Esquire. So that's where I got that death date. Okay. So, um, that's a pretty clear connection that... Um, Elizabeth Morton married James Danzy. I can get back to where I was because I'm just going to take. I'm going to make a little side comment that um, now it seems as though uh, wine is less able to run Family Tree Maker than it was before. I used to be able to to run internet searches and I used to be able to actually look at the notes without 
program crashing, and it just did. Let's go back up here to Charles Morton and back over to Mary Berkeley and back down Elizabeth Morton. Now Lionel Morton, I'm just told, died young. It's about, about 1750. This death date for Mary Berkeley I got from uh, Collins Peerage 1812 edition. Okay. The exact birth date for James Gansey, I'm not sure. I'm not going to go digging in notes right now. I want this to crash. Okay, so now they had four children, right? Flora seemed to have died in 1778. I don't know where I got the birth date of 1776. At least not off the top of my head. Elizabeth Danzi, I'm estimating. Um, it, it seems like there's a pretty big gap. Uh, maybe that Flora is, I got her being born a little bit late there. I'm not sure. Okay, so Mary Danzi. And she ended up dying in Whitburn, Hedford County, England in 1853. So now we're getting closer to the modern time. She married a man named John Freeman of Gaines. And there was an entry in the peerage for the Freeman family of Gaines in the older editions. Not necessarily in the newer editions, but in the older ones, definitely. And uh, this, this actually was a family of five children. And let's go through what we got here. We have Mary Abigail, who married a John, Charles John Sidebottom. And the Sidebottom family, eventually uh, his sons, or one of his sons, or God, all of his sons, or maybe even himself, ended up changing their last names to Sidebottom Venner. And so, if I'll pretty much put it this way, that's a pretty unique last name. So, if you find yourself with the last name Sidebottom Venner, is one thing, side bottom slash venner, you're probably a descendant of Dr. Charles Morton. Um, I don't know if any of, it doesn't look like any, uh, John Charles Sidebottom's brother, Henry Francis, um, ended up changing their name uh, to, to venner, but, but, she, but guess what? Henry Francis Sidebottom married Anne Freeman and Mary Danzi was the mother of Mary Freeman. So these two sisters here married two brothers, two Freeman brothers. And Mary Freeman, oh, did I get that wrong? Is it Anne Freeman? Yes, Anne Freeman. Now, even if, so I can't say if your last name is Sidebottom that you're definitely a. <laughs> Descendant of Dr. Charles Moore, but it's Sidebottom Venner, certainly. Um, it's worth working back to. Now we're in dates where these people have died uh, close to 1900, if not. Yeah, one of them died. In, you know, at least the descendants of Anne Freeman um, died. And when I have after 1861, the last time I saw her in a census was in the English 1861 census. I probably should have 1860 there because when they took the census in 1861, they were asking about 1860 as far as I know. I've got some marriage records, i got some exact dates, but I only have a year, well that comes from the census records, and now we're in census land, so people that are doing research and working their way back, so if they back, if they get this far, know that uh, if you have an Anne Unknown that's wife of Henry Francis Sidebottom, why that Anne was Anne Freeman, daughter of John Freeman and Mary Danzi, and you can go back to Dr. Charles Morton. So make that connection there. Now, um, I'm just about ready to say that uh, if, if once I go into census land, I'm going to assume people can work their way back this far. But I'll, I guess I'll go a little bit further into uh, the descendants, the descendants of John Charles John Sidebottom here and Mary Abigail Freeman, and. Um, now, Francis John Sidebottom Venner is said to have married a Flora Jean Peel, March of 1860, at St. James in Westminster. I'm not sure about whether they had any children. They married in 1860. Uh, she would have been about 23, so it's possible. She died in 1896. He died, you know. He lived another 16 years after they married. I'm not sure exactly what his involvement was, but you know, there is. If, if I haven't worked my way down from this tree, I 
don't remember whether the conclusion was he didn't have any descendants or not. I, I, I don't know. Maybe 1860 there is, is certainly in census land. The 1861 census should should say something. I don't know where I got the information about their deaths. It may have been from an entry in an older version of the peerage. Um, nonetheless, um, you know, if, if you get yourself up to this point, Francis John Sidebottom-Venner is a descendant of Dr. Charles Morton. And we got a Charles Edward Sidebottom, and he married Mary Isabella Mary Hayes, and he died in 1917, so we're not that far away. And then we got four children, George, Charles Francis, Amy Beatrice, and if I know anything else about these individuals, I don't think I do. One of them died in 47. One, I'm not sure when he died, and here's the man that married a woman named Barbara Brown.